Okay. Let's take a trip on a spacecraft, okay? What's going to happen is you're going to take a trip on a spacecraft, and I'm located here at zero, S coordinate zero. Okay, and you're on this spacecraft, and you're traveling at some constant velocity to V. And you're located here at this coordinate, S prime, okay? And at this S prime coordinate system, you note some event that has occurred. Let's say it's a pulse of light. And both you and I can measure this pulse of light. So... I send to you a, mes um, a message that I measure your pulse of light as, as X prime is equal to X minus B times T. Okay? And I tell you that's where, the, where you're located. And you send me a measurement, and you say, wait a minute. I measure X is equal to X prime plus B times T, okay? And our measurements are different. Oh, well, this is T prime here, and I got to have T prime, okay? Well, let me erase that and make that a little bit better. get a small eraser yeah okay so you say x let me erase that okay x prime plus b times t prime okay And our measurements are different. And we discuss back and forth, and I decide, I say, okay, since your measurement is different than my measurement, let's multiply our measurements by gamma, some constant, to make them agree, okay? Because I know in my reference frame, x is equal to the speed of light times time. And you know in your reference frame that x prime is equal to the speed of light times T prime, okay? Your time that you measure, okay? So, if I solve each one of these for T over X, I get T over X is equal to one over C. I just divide through by X and divide through by C. And you solve your time, you have T prime over x prime is equal to 1 over c. So we agree on that. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to solve for this gamma. Okay. So I'm going to take this equa these two equations and I'm going to multiply them by each other. So I get x times x prime is equal to... Now, I'm going to say this equation, x minus V times T times X prime plus V times T prime times gamma squared because gamma times gamma is gamma squared, okay? So X times X prime, and now I want to factor, well, I want to multiply these first. So I have gamma squared, and I'm going to put a bracket around this. X times X prime, I have X times X prime Okay, and I have x times x prime plus x times v times t prime, x times v times t prime minus, minus v t times x prime, that's v t times x prime minus v T times V T prime. So that's V squared times T times T prime. And then I put a bracket around that. Okay. Now, 
what I want to do is I want to factor out x times x prime. So I have x times x prime is equal to gamma squared times x times x prime and put a bracket around this. I factored out x times x prime here, so that's 1, plus b times t prime, but I factored out x times x prime here. I factored out an x, but I didn't have an x prime, so I have to calculate, I have to count for that. Minus b times t, I factored out an x prime, but I don't have an x, so I have to account for that minus v squared and now I factored out x and x prime here but I don't have either there so I have to account for them so I have t excuse me let me fix that that's uh that's v times t over x and t over t prime over x prime and put a bracket around that. And the reason why I did that is because I factored out x and x prime from here but I have neither in there so I have to account for them. So when I multiply through by x and x prime, x and x prime cancels and it gives me what I had originally. Okay. Now, if I divide through by x and x prime, this x and x prime cancels with that. So that gives me 1 is equal to gamma squared times 1 plus v t over t, t prime over x prime, I say it is 1 over c. So that's 1 over c. Okay, minus v t over c, I said, t over x, I said, is 1 over c. So I put c here. Minus v squared, t over x is 1 over c, and t prime over x prime is 1 over c. So that's 1 over c squared. Put a bracket around. Well, v minus v over c plus v over c cancels, okay? So that leaves me with 1 is equal to gamma squared times 1 minus v squared over c squared, okay? And if I solve, divide through, if I divide through by uh, 1 minus v squared over c squared, 1 minus v squared over c squared, I get gamma squared is equal to 1 over 1 minus v squared over c squared, okay? And if I take the square root of both sides, I end up with gamma is equal to 1, the square root of 1 is 1, divided by the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared okay so therefore now to make our measurements agree I multiply by this factor and let me erase all of this here okay so uh, let's uh, rewrite uh, our information here in and uh, come up with our equations here. Okay, so we got uh, x prime, x prime is equal to x minus v times t gamma, okay. And we have x is equal to x prime plus v times t prime times gamma, okay? So what you need to do is, since we know what gamma is, we've just calculated that. Gamma is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared, okay? 
So what you need to do is plug gamma into each one of these equations and you'll solve for whatever, whichever what you want, whatever you want. For example, to solve for x prime, you will plug in gamma and gamma, it would give you x minus b times t divided by the square root of 1 minus b squared divided by c squared, okay? And that's what x prime is, okay? Now, to solve for t prime, you would plug in gamma into the x equation, okay? And then solve for t prime and use x minus v times t for your x, okay? And and you would come up with uh, t prime is equal to t minus v times x divided by c squared square divided by the square root of 1 minus b squared over c squared okay okay and Albert Einstein used this in his calculations it's called a Lorentz transformation Lorentz transformation, okay, and you'll see it in Albert. If you read my see my next video uh, about on Albert Einstein, you'll see that in Albert Einstein's equation he used the rest the relative mass is equal to the rest mass divided by the square root of one minus b squared over c squared. And that's the relative mass, okay? And you'll see that at speed of light, when b equals the speed of light, the square this becomes the square root of 1 minus 1, which is 0, okay, and, which is undefined. So, therefore, Albert Einstein states that we can, anything with mass can't travel at the speed of light, okay? So, if you see my next, watch my next video on Albert Einstein, uh, you'll see how I use that, okay? And you'll see his equation because I show it to you. Okay.